To understand what we're doing and why, it's useful to know a little bit about Kawasaki disease. Scientists and doctors don't know what causes it, but Kawasaki's disease is an inflammation of the cardiovascular system, uh, vascularitis in medical terminology. There's still a lot of unknowns, but the disease appears to primarily affect infants and children, mostly those under the age of five. The disease is self-limiting, which means it appears to run its course and then be done, but during the time of inflammation, there, there are a few complications that can arise stemming from the weakening of the cardiovascular system. If the disease is recognized in the very early stages, there's a treatment that can be given that has been shown to reduce but not completely eliminate uh, the chances of getting these problems. And one of the, the primary problems is the formation of aneurysms in the coronary arteries. Even the aneurysms that form and then appear to go away have been found to be not completely healed in the long term. And because of these uh, long-lasting complications, Kawasaki disease is the leading cause of acquired heart disease in children in the U.S. and Japan. And during the 2015 International Kawasaki Disease Symposium I just went to, I heard many researchers claim it's now the leading cause of acquired heart disease in children in many more nations around the world. Now one of my primary references is an article entitled Kawasaki Disease published by Dr. Jane Newberger and Dr. Jane Burns in Vascular Medicine 1999. And another article with uh, a little less medical terminology, a little more layman's terms, uh, is the American Heart Association's Cardiology Patient Page by the same title, uh, published by Annette Baker and Jane Newberger in Circulation in 2008. So in the next video, I'll go into a bit more detail on aneurysms.